Cuomo says he would refuse and challenge an order from Trump to reopen New York's economy if it put residents' health at risk. Washington, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo would refuse and legally challenge a potential order from President Donald Trump to reopen the state's economy if doing so would put its residents at risk of being exposed to the novel coronavirus, he said Tuesday. Trump has falsely claimed that, as president, he has total authority to decide to lift restrictions governors have imposed to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Ultimately, the state and local officials who have been imposing restrictions for the last month are the ones who will decide when to lift those restrictions. If he ordered me to reopen in a way that would endanger the public health of the people of my state, I wouldn't do it. And we would have a constitutional challenge between the state and the federal government, and that would go into the courts, Cuomo told CNN's Alison Camarota on New Day. While it remains unclear how a legal battle over state restrictions would unfold, many legal scholars believe the president would lose if he tried to challenge them on some constitutional grounds he has not yet identified. Trump does, however, have some clear, though limited, direct power. For example, he can order federal employees to return to their offices and reopen national parks and other federal property. And he can use his influence to try to persuade governors and citizens to do as he wishes. It's also possible that Trump could try to leverage the major disaster declaration he has issued for each state, for example, attempting to require governors to take certain steps in exchange for federal assistance. Cuomo, whose state is currently seeing the effectiveness of its restrictions as the number of cases there begin to level off, said that a dictatorial and partisan order from Trump to reopen New York's economy would be the worst possible thing he could do at this moment. Asked by Camarota what the eventual reopening of New York's economy would look like, Cuomo said it would be a phased reopening that will start with an expansion of essential services. Because it is not that the economy was closed down. You can get on a bus, you can get on a train, you can buy food. But expand that list of essential services. And that phase, that evolution of the economic reactivation, is what we're talking about, he said. Prior to Trump's press briefing on Monday where he claimed total authority, governors on the coasts announced that they had formed their own pacts to coordinate the steps they will take to reopen the economy in their states. Governors on each side of the country hammered out the notion that their decisions will be driven by facts, science and public health professionals, not politics. Cuomo noted on Monday that health officials in his state believe they have reached a plateau in cases, but he cautioned that a regional approach was necessary to avoid a resurgence. He said it was important to do so step by step with a smart plan, evaluating data at each juncture, and working in concert with states in the region. CNN's Daniel Dale, Stephen Collinson and Meve Reston contributed to this report. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.